We are going to collect them all. I do want to see what you get because I have yet to see the reward for collecting all 205 treasures. So, okay. So, clear line of sight and there we go. So, we're going to keep on going this way and the thread de la Alice is going to tell us to go that way. So, we actually do need to hold down the minus button for that to show up. Otherwise, it just will pop up the objective. But, I hope you guys are enjoying the game so far. It's, well it's interesting, and it kind of falls under the umbrella of somebody out there, some manager put in effort to this game, uh, <laughs> and, or some sort of just department just really put their heart into it, but then it just, you have to tie it in with the movie, which is something that I think really holds these things back, and then you have to aim it towards kids specifically, so... It's weird, and um, I still, I'm not entirely sure. I've beaten the game, but I just don't know if it really itches the same spot, kind of like the DS version did, where it was actually quite different from everything else. So, I don't know. This one definitely follows the movie a lot more, uh, I guess, accurately. So, I don't think we picked anything else up since the last shop we were in, so kind of a useless thing to have, especially now. But... We'll go and lift that up and just a lot of switching back and forth. You're going to have to remember where each character is. And then once you start getting the other ones, you're just like, oh, I'm confused. But it's fine. So where are you telling me? This way to the old windmill. All right. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and lift that up. And this will take us to a... Oh, oh wait. Back to the garden. Hello. Look, there's a ladder here. Let's climb it. But first, some uh, forceful terraforming. Mazes I don't like. All their nasty twists and turns make my head throb and hurt. <laughs> I hop right over them. <laughs> oh man, the March Hare. I can only just remember what he was in the American McGee games. It was so creepy. Like, I'm telling you right now. Um, which, speaking of, this game actually kind of really reminds me of the first one. I think I might have already mentioned it, or at least that it feels very similar to other games, how it's just very hack and slashy, but it's just, it's very interesting, and, um, it kind of makes me want to play that a little bit more, actually. So we're going to go lift this one up over here, and that should take us to our next destination. Which it seems like we're just literally going backwards. That's where we started the game, I think, over there. Or somewhere close to it. But now that we're back in this garden, we can actually grab a couple of the chests Why that are either floating. So? And no one's going to answer you, Alice. Don't bother. <laughs> but um, I think there were three chests that we had to grab with the March Hare. So we might as well grab those while we're here. And, whoop, okay, so this is actually going backwards. We don't want to go to yet. And for whatever reason, we can't go back the regular way. We do need to take... You? Yes, How that did was... you do that? That's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Are you just now joining us, Alice? Welcome back to the That's game. Such a marvelous skill you have there. She is quite, quite the character. But I want to see her, like, sit down on the bench so I can destroy it while she sits on it. She's like, you, you want to take a rest here, Alice? Are your feet feeling a little weary for the wise? Well, too bad. You're a hero. You don't get to sit down, right? But, um, yeah, this game really is just... If we climb up onto the statue, we should be able to see the way out of here. Yeah, thank you. I what do you I say? I you to leave me alone. What? That was you? I have never spoken to you in my life, madam. I don't know what game you're trying to pull on me. So, yeah, this is where we should probably just go back up there. I think there was, I could have sworn, a place we could have just jumped up to, but it's hard to tell. I also wanted to maybe grab some of those other things, but that's where we came from. We head over here. This will kind of lead us back around. This game is pretty decent about not blocking off certain areas because you are encouraged to backtrack with different characters, which is super annoying. Such as right up here. Over here. Uh, down. Get down. There we go. But man, I'm telling you, things things get rough pretty quick out here. Even though progression is generally pretty quick. Like we're gonna have the Mad Hatter in like five minutes. And just as a bit of a spoiler, <laughs> he his voice acting, his Johnny Depp impersonation is terrible. He's like he's part Scottish, part Irish, part 
English. And then he tries to do the Captain Jack Sparrow bit. And it it hurts my head even just thinking about it. Um, so, yeah, let's just go up here. I'll grab that other chest later, unless it's right over there. Here, let's do that. Generally, you're not allowed to do things from super far away, but I'm surprised it actually let me do it from there. Um, and that might have been the last one, I think. So, yeah, we got a nice little bunny over there. And I can't even go over there. Ooh, but I can over here. Maybe if we're lucky, the game will allow us to perhaps go through this. Yes, throw those plates at the trees. I'm sure you'll break them down that way. Okay, so there was one over here. I think it's this way. Oh, thank you. Um, I didn't realize you were the one escorting us, ma'am. But yeah, just for completion's sake, we are gonna grab all the treasure. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I wonder why we can go back here the regular way. Maybe it just closed itself off to us. Oh, hello, you're floating. I thought I I thought I put you down. It must have gone back up. Uh, things do eventually Look, revert to back to where they were. Let's climb it. Oh, I'm good. A little too curious. Wait, are you gonna sit down? Oh, there she goes. Look at her. She's just like, alright, I'll wait for you to do your thing, but no sitting down on the job. There you go. Get out of here. Okay. So enough of the garden. I think we're done with this place now until we get somebody who knows the power of invincibility. Perhaps somebody who has read <laughs> all of the Harry Potter books and audiobook. Whew. Yeah, this is a different area. So another thing that we need to look be on the lookout for are fish statues. Do what you do have. And this is something we're also gonna see everywhere, but sometimes the game will do this thing. This stupid, un- believable thing where you have to do that in order to get the treasure. I swear I'm gonna miss something because of that, but I think we need something like 15 fish, fish statues for an achievement, and I don't know why they have to be fish statues, but this area looks just almost exactly like uh, the beginning of the game, and I think it is. I just don't know who broke those statues, because they were not broken before. Alright, it's time to deal with the Tweedles. Sup, nerd? Hush! I'm hunting Dumb's hiding spot. Have you spied him? I get tired of hunting, but I like the counting, yes. Seven, twelve, three, you see? Can you spy Dumb for me? I shall wait and count. Ah, so it appears as though D is a man of culture and he likes to cheat on his games of uh, hide and seek. So let's go over here and find that Dumb base. All right, listen, not the greatest spot, but good effort. How did you spy me? I was invincible. Not quite up to Cheshire Cat standards, I'm afraid. I spied you. Contrarywise, you cheated. No, how? you're just a hater of losing. Shall we start a different hiding battle? Yes, let's, again. Well done to you too. Do take this with all our pleases and thank yous. Goodbye. Farewell. See you again. Huh. Uh, I appreciate the Animal Crossing bag, but uh, didn't really need it. Don't know why they forced that on us, but that's all right because we're now heading back to the beginning. So, uh, let's step inside because everyone is the proper size, and we're heading back to the area we needed to. I don't know why I started talking during this load screen, but uh, here we are. Okay, so now that we have the March Hare, there are a couple of things that we can do here. So we'll stop this. Thank goodness. And that's going to drop a chandelier. And something that's very odd, aside from this like really obnoxious camera that just has to like whip around, is that we rotate this, it goes crazy! And it gives us all of these star bits for days and yet another shop. So without the different abilities, we're not gonna be able to do much here, especially in this one. I don't know if I showed this one off, but we could do some stuff here. Right now we lack a sensitivity to perspective, but we will be getting that soon. But there are a lot of paintings we can just knock right off the walls, which is pretty funny. And something we're gonna to wanna to do is twist more chandeliers if we can. Also, uh, some of these wall panels, you can actually knock off and destroy, which I think is so bizarre. So if I can just do that, you're gonna give me all of the points. 
Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But something that the game doesn't tell you is that if you do it again, uh, you get something special happen. So, yeah, this game is definitely uh, a little problematic in its, its ways of doing things. So I'm going to try to break this open, <laughs> maybe. Do a backflip on it, no big deal. And we'll knock more of these over. I think it was like 20 paintings or something we just had to knock off. And you could like put them back up sometimes. It's just, I don't know what the idea was. Destroy more furniture. This could always be fun. I was actually surprised we have destroyed so much of it to begin with. And we can also, yeah, some of those things on the ground we can destroy. What is this? What can I do with you? Are you going to give me anything special? No, nothing special at all. Surprise, surprise. But we can come back here at any point during the game to do it. And it's just kind of pointless until the end, really. So let's head back out here. And there is actually a room to another room, which is going to be helpful for us. Although, if I lift this up, where are you going to take me? I don't need a certain pair of paw prints, do I? No, I do. Damn. All right. What about you? You take me to a different room. That's where I want to go next, I think. Yeah, I can't do anything there. So let's have a quick save, shall we? And now with that having been said and done, it is time to find the next door. And I would say it's the one we probably haven't seen yet. And it would be this one. All right, let's bring that on down and the crooked door reveals the way. Ooh. Also, check it out. <laughs> like I was saying, for whatever reason, we can just destroy just certain parts of the wall. And I don't know why they did it here specifically. I don't know, maybe it's to catch your eye or something. I don't know. But without further ado, let's head on forward and meet up with the Mad Hatter. Okay, for some reason I was expecting just a little bit of dialogue, but ah, there is a chest here. Sometimes behind the doors they will put just secret little treasures for those exploration types. So let's go ahead and slow this down. And something that is going to bother you for the rest of the game is the fact that there is a hidden rook right over here that you can't grab yet. And it is going to bother me to the ends of time just how long we have to wait before we're able to grab it. Just explore as much as you want. You're just never going to find it. Oh, do you now? All right. Them some strong words. So let's see now. So somewhere, yeah, right there. So there's a hidden door that we unlock much later. And then that's when we're able to grab that. So be on the lookout for that in 20 parts or so. But before we head over there, we actually want to grab this giant chest that they just casually stuck down here <laughs> just you know on the off chance that you might not have been able to reach it and prepare yourself for probably one of the most annoying battles yet so first we're gonna go and uh there we go liven up a little bit and mis correct me if i'm wrong but we have yet to grab anything else for anyone yeah nothing that's what five shops that we've seen so far and I've been unable to do anything with? I don't know, man. I do not know. Which is why it's that much worse that they're just taunting you by putting that there. So we step forward. No, night, no! We need that door! Do not take that door! No, no, no! Oh, my red guard! Uh, great. Alright, it's time to continue. Ooh, there you are. For the Red Queen. Come on. There we go. <laughs> alright, alright, let's fight. While she neglects to break herself free. Oh, oh damn. Alright, so you're just gonna attack me from the side. Don't worry about it. And Alice, in her nonchalant ways, is just gonna let herself get uh, eaten up by the vortex. Alright. Yeah, this combat really is just mash and mash, hack and slash, you know. Alright, thank you for all that. Now, if you'd like to run away somewhere, also, this vortex, we need to be careful that we actually don't let it sink completely. I don't know what happens if it does, but probably nothing good. So, McTwisp is not the good choice to fight, but I want to stay away from, wow, that fighting right there. There we go. 
And as long as you're like one on one you should be fine. It's just the fact that I can still do this. Ugh. While they're grabbing Alice, I just completely neglect to give you control of the camera whatsoever. It's just rough. But there we go! Oh, wait, 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 no, it's still going, still going. All right, uh, nope. There we go, all right, who's next? Why is Alice keep hiding, like, so far away? Oof, no, what, oh, rude. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to switch on back over. But first, take this guy out. Okay, yeah, we have no other abilities with anyone else. Plus, we have to wait until the power of time is worn off before we can use it again, so there we go. Now, uh, we're probably gonna need to save Alice here, unless, where did she go? <laughs> that scream. I don't know where I'm running. Why am I going that way? All right, listen here, nerd. I need you to let her go. She's not very bright, you see. There we go. All right, and once that timer runs out, can I please? Jeez. <laughs> The, the camera alignment is insanity. But we're gonna get such a terrible score. Destroy! Destroy, please! There we go. At least I never died. 